So welcome everybody. This is Channeling Career and today is December the 20th, 2020. So when I was kind of tapping into um, today and um, the image that came to me is it's really um, parting of the ways. So that's why I, I searched for this this um, kind of graphics to, to match it. It's really parting of well, the ways in a lot of way, it is really parting of the ways. It's really saying goodbye to the old energy. And um, so whether Kriya is going to say anything about that or not, I, I don't know. But um, when I tap into today's energy, that's the, the, the image that I saw in my mind. And um, just for people who are not very familiar with this, how this the channeling session go, is that I would take everybody into a, a brief meditation, a short meditation. And then when I really feel the energy of Kriya coming in, then the channeling starts. And afterwards, we'll have a um, question and answer or just anybody who wants to um, say anything, clarify, or just share. Uh, welcome to join us after the, the channeling. So let's begin. Let's begin by doing a meditation by turning inwards. Start to just, if you, if you feel called to, is to simply take a deep breath in and really start to follow your own breathing, follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And when you place your attention on your breath, it helps you to let go of any other thoughts. And if any thoughts come in to your mind, just gently allow it to leave. No need to try to um, resist it or, try, or even try to um, know more about it. Just Focus on breathing. Just do the best you can to keep your mind as peaceful and blank as possible. And simply focus on how your body is as you breathe in and as you breathe out set an intention to start to take longer to breathe in and take your time breathing out to elongate your breath. And when you do that, you immediately send a signal to your body to relax. Use your breathing to regulate how your body is, the state of your body. And allow your mind and your body to relax. And when you feel more relaxed, then set the next intention is to simply focus on your heart. You can do that very easily by just gently place your hand on your heart. Just very lightly place your hand on your heart to indicate to your body that you want to focus there. You want to put your attention in your heart. And when you feel more centered in your heart, it 
Imagine that you can actually breathe into your heart and breathe out anything that does not support you to be in this moment from your heart. And when you're in your heart, call back all parts of yourself, call back your soul, call to your entity, bring your body in definitely, and also call, call on the attention of your higher self and set an intention to align all parts of you, the physical and the non-physical parts of you, the part of you that is within your body and the parts of you that is beyond your body. Simply set the intention to align all your physical and non-physical parts so that they are all aligned as your higher self is aligned. Have all parts of you being harmonized and coherent so that each time when you breathe into your heart and to your soul, you're also breathing into all other parts of you and allow yourself to breathe in and breathe out with the same rhythm, all parts of you, same rhythm. And you, if you have not already, then choose to feel unconditional love. Have unconditional love in your heart. Unconditional love for your body and for all other parts of you. and allow this unconditional love to be all around you. To permeate each and every one of your cells and the DNA within your cells. Feel love for your body, for all parts of you, and send love to Mother Earth on this beautiful playground that we are on. I love you, Mother Earth. And feel Mother Earth returning your love a million times over. And also send love to the sun, to Father Sky. Send love through the top of your head to Father Sky and feel Father Sky returning your love a million times over. And feel this unconditional love within yourself and also all around you, below you from Mother Earth and above you from Father Sky. Feel yourself being cocooned by this layer 
and layers of unconditional love. And pay attention to the unconditional love that is truly the life force all around you and within you as well. We would like to congratulate all of you here. You have made it here. You have made it to this beautiful moment. Where you cross the threshold of a new beginning new beginning of the human family, new beginning also for all life on earth. Not just the humans, but the animals as well, they can feel it. Every bird every fish, every cat, every dog, every bear, they all know, they have a sense that we are walking we are walking through the gates that marks the new beginning. Of the glorious time on earth. Earth has gone through some very interesting times in the past thousands of years and now it is like it is as though earth is coming out of hibernation and is just beginning to wake up and is just beginning to discover how magnificent life truly can be and is. And even though for a lot of people, life still seems rather interesting. Or shall we say challenging? for the moment but we want to assure you that this is simply an illusion the hearts the hardest work the most difficult work it's behind us already We have done so much work, especially in the past decades. And now we're beginning to see the fruits of all that we have been working for. In the past, we weren't sure we weren't sure what it is that we're working for. 
Why are we trying so hard to hold the light within our heart? It is as though life itself is trying to strangle every bit of light from our frail body. But that was an illusion as well. The truth is spirit knows. Spirit was able to look ahead and saw a good probability of a wonderful conclusion to all of our struggles. And here we are. We are going to we already see the beginning of the old regime crumbling. Part of the old is already cracking. And it seems like no matter what, the old energy is trying to do to us that we are already so skilled at being able to keep that spark of divine light within us so glowing. And now we're here. We are really here. We're getting to the end of that tunnel. We can start to see the light coming in. And even though on the surface, it seems like there are still chaos. that we know within our hearts, within our inner knowing, that we have made it. No, we're not perfect. And that's part of the beauty of being human. Yes, we still have some rough edges. And that is part of the joy of life is to really to enjoy the imperfection of life. To really get to understand that it is really the joy of everybody working together, helping each other out and helping each other to keep that flame in our hearts, to help each other make it bigger and give each other space to shine that light out for the whole world to see. We are not supposed to be able to do everything ourselves. That is why there are so many aspects of ourselves so that we can come together and enjoy the journey together to be able to see and recognize the light within each other.
And as we come together with love in our heart, we will be able to create, to co-create the best, even more than what just one person can accomplish. Because when we come together, we can create something that is better than any one of us on our own can come up with. We are made, each of us made, to complement each other. We each have our gifts, have things that we are good at, be it creativity, or compassion, or understanding, or courage. We all are good at different things. And when we come together and work together, We become society. Of the best of everything. So that each and every one of us can start to develop our individual talents. We don't have to be limited as we were limited before. We can start to develop as we're supposed to develop our individual strengths to discover what they are and to develop them. Each of us uniquely gifted in our own way so that when we all work together and complement one another, when we each contribute the best of what we are good at, we become society of experts. And that is all to come. For now, for now, simply tap inside. Tap inside your heart. Connect. Connect to the beauty of this moment, of this wonderful beginning. We are not too late. We are not too early. It's the perfect timing. Everything has been conspired to make sure that when we finally start, when we finally come to here, when we finally are ready to let go of the past, that the universe will give us most potent help to help us to blast through the last of these 
old systems are still trying to hold us back. Even though within our hearts we all know that they are not going to succeed, because within our heart, each and every one of us already made our choice. Our soul has already made that choice, and our soul has all the help from the universe. To guide us in the right direction. So, in this moment, simply enjoy. Simply enjoy a job well done. You are here. You have accomplished the hardest part of this journey. The rest is nothing compared to what you have gone through. The rest is simply. Witness the old gods, the old system, falling one by one. And even though some of you may feel scared, you may not know what to expect. Because the old system have been there for such a long time, you weren't sure whether you'll be able to imagine something new. And don't worry, once the old system dropped off. You will be able to find all the inspiration that you need, all the help that you need to create from where you are right now anything that you wish to have. You may not notice it now, but the old system has been so heavy. It absolutely has been weighing you down, and because you have been weighed down for such a long time, you have no idea how much the old energy has robbed you of your inspiration, of your talents, of your ingenious. And once the old system is gone, you will feel like a bird that is ready to soar, because you don't even know how heavy and how hard it has been, because you've grown so accustomed. To those weights, those handcuffs have been trying to keep you where you are, keep you from accessing the divine spark within you. And now that you're here, you'll be able to experience what it feels like to truly be free.
free to be you, free to be the unique and precious an absolutely brilliant version of who you truly are before you were dumbed down, weighed down. You are about to discover all of that ingenuity, skills, gifts, brilliance that has been there all along, covered Right now, you're going through this adjustment. And that's why you feel still unsure of yourself, unsure of your future. There's no need to be unsure. No need at all. For you will be guided. Guided by none other than your soul and your higher self. There is no one to weigh you down, no one to mislead you. You will begin to start to nurture yourself. to start to find out the most precious gifts that you have left for yourself to discover. You have all that to come. And you have all the time you need to discover them and to develop them. No longer confused, distracted by the old energy. This new energy is going to support you. It would be like the energy is going to part the sea for you to walk through. It's going to blast a hole in mountains for you to be able to take the shortest route possible for all of you. To start to discover who you truly are and to start to reclaim all of the treasures and the power that has been in you all along, all this time, 
waiting for the right moment for you to start to use them. To display them. To let everyone be able to benefit from them. Not from an egoic way, but because everyone Everyone is called to do that, to bring the best. Because you deserve the best. We all deserve the best in each other. So you might as well start now. Start now. Start now. To truly embrace. the magnificence in you. Stop listening to that other voice in your head that is trying to pull you down. Connect, connect with your soul and let that be the most important part of your work, of your day, of your job, is to connect with your soul. To listen to your soul. Your soul is trying to guide you. It's been trying so hard. So make that a priority, priority for each day. When you wake up, connect with your soul. and really feel the energy, feel the pull from your soul to guide you into where it is that you need to put your focus. Follow that, use your soul, use the guidance from your heart as though it is the light, the guiding light that is going to lead you on your path to help you find the best way to get to where you need to go. To help you to let go of the conversations in your head that is no longer serving you. 
and to guide you. To have the, the kind of conversation in your head that is going to lead you back to discover the gifts that you have. To start to work with your body. To start to work with all parts of you. in an aligned and coherent way so that you can actually get things done easier, faster, because you have the ability to command your surrounding, to supply you with the assistance that you need whatever the assistance may be. It could be assistance in the form of a guide, maybe assistance in the form of financial uh, assistance, all of that. you can command. And you can do that just by being aligned with your heart, aligned with your soul and following the guidance of your soul and higher self. The energy is going to support it. In fact, the energy is so supportive. that you have to actually try twice as hard to be able to miss it. So no need to wait. No need to, to wait. Simply choose, simply choose to create your new future right now. Find that alliance, that communication with your soul and your higher self right now. Start to feel and be familiar with what it feels like when you are aligned. It's 
so that you will be familiar with the difference between being aligned and not. We will help you find the best way to move forward from here. And let this guidance from your soul be your main director. Be your North Star. Guiding you to find the easiest way to build the future that your soul desires. Let the age of soulful creation start now. Feel that in your heart and get familiar with this feeling of being one with your soul, being one with spirit. and know what it feels like. When you're flowing with your soul, and that is your best guidance from now on. It is best to listen to your own guidance rather than trying to find guidance from outside of you. Feel this connection. Feel the connection with your soul. Feel what it feels like to be in joy, light, love. This is how it begins. This is how to build a new future, a new magnificent future that we all deserve. By co-creating with your soul, And it starts right here, 
right now in your heart. So smile, smile and enjoy. Smile and enjoy this easy transition. To the golden age. We love you, we thank you, and we have enjoyed this moment with you. And we congratulate you once again that you've made it, you have all made it. What a beautiful, wonderful tomorrow that you're all going to have. Let's co-create together. This golden age on earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you.